with all welcome back to some tutorials class second puc state syllabus multiple choice questions this is session number chapter 4 data structures so today we will discuss about the multiple choice questions from the chapter data structure the first of all what is a data structure a data structure is a specialized format for organizing and storing the data in a computer system. So it means organization or structuring a collection of a data item in appropriate form so as to improve efficiency of storage and processing. So first of all, what is a data? Data is a collection of raw facts that are calculated or manipulated by a computers. A data may be contained either it is a single value or a set of values. This is a data. What is a structure? Structure is a way of organizing and storing the data. So that these are all the combined together, we can call it as a data structure. Data structure is a combination of both words, data and structure. So that it is a specialized format for organizing and storing the data. Data structures are classified into the two different types. One is the primitive data structure, one more it is called non-primitive data structure. Primitive data structure or the data structure that are directly operated by machine level instructions are called primitive data structure. Examples for the primitive data structures are integer, floating point numbers, character data, pointers and references or the examples for primitive data structure then what is a non-primitive data structure non-primitive data structures are data structures that are not directly operated upon by machine level instructions or known as non-primitive data structure Examples for the non-primitive data structures are stacks, queues, linker lists, trees, and also graphs. Non-primitive data structure can furthermore classified into the two different types, linear data structures and non-linear data structure. Linear data structures are the kind of a data structure that has a homogeneous elements. Each element is referred by an index. So that examples are stacks queues and linker list then a non-linear data structures are the data structures in which a data item is concerned connected to several other data items every data item is attached to several other through a link this is called a non-linear non-primitive data structures examples are trees and also graphs so first let us discuss about the sum of the multiple choice questions from this the chapter the first question is that the front and rear end value of the queue will be same when there is dash number of elements this is the first questions from this chapter options are zero option b one option c n minus one option d both a and b so n is indicated as that that is the maximum number of the elements which are present in this the queue so here q is said to be an empty when the value of front is at minus one or the value of the front become greater than the rear so that the front which is always greater than the rear so that answer is that it is zero because q is said to be a empty when the value of a front is at minus one or the value of front which is become greater than the rear so that the front which is always greater than rear so the final answer will become zero second question is that the data structure that allows the special character and character to store is what are the options here option a string option b array option c stack option d queue 
answer will become you should use a string to store these since there are more than a one character and also allowed to be a special character so that the answer will become option a string then we move on to the next slide here the question number 3 the question is that the data structure that allows insertion as well as the deletion from both ends are what are the options here string then linked list data structure stack data structure and dq data structure here the question is that data structure that allows insertion as well as deletion that is always accessed at the both ends the answer is that the option number d dq data structure because a dq which means that double ended queue dq data structure allows the insertion and also deletion which is always takes place at the both end Now, so that the correct answer will become option number d dq next question fourth question dash the data structure which is called lifo l i f o list the options are q stack linked list and none of these the correct answer will become option number b stack because a stack is a linear data structure that follows the principle of the l i f o which means that last in first out this means the last element is inserted inside the stack which is removed first so that the stack we can also called as a lifo the stack it is ordered collection of elements where elements are inserted at the one end and deleted at the same end that end we can call it as a top of the stack this data structure which is also called as a lifo lifo next question is the dash the data structure which is called fifo f i f o first in first out options are option a q option b stack option c linked list option d none of these the correct answer is q because a q is a defined as a linear data structure it is open at both the ends it is front and also the rear end Q is also a ordered collection of an elements where elements are inserted at the one end it is called rear end and deleted at the another end here we define a queue to be a list in which all the additions to the list are made at one end and all the deletions from the list are made at the other end here the last element is inserted and the queue is to be removed the last so the first element is to be inserted inside the queue is removed first so that is the first in first out basis so that the answer will become option number e q next question is following is an example for primitive data structure already i told that what is an a primitive data structure what is a primitive data structure a data structure that are directly operated upon by machine level instructions are called primitive data structure so already examples are in float char double and pointer and references are the examples for the primitive data structure so let us show the options option a tree option b stack option c is q option d is int so the final answer will become option number d int because the int it is a example for a, a primitive data structure next question is dash is in a specialized format for organizing and storing the data so what is that already i told the definition of a data structure 
so that the data structure is a specialized format for organizing and storing the data in the computer system so that is options are option a data structure option b primitive data structure option c sorting option d merging the correct answer will become option number a that is a data structure this is a definition of a data structure data structure it's a specialized format for organizing and storing the data in the computer system next question is array size should be the options are a negative number positive number null and also zero the correct answer will become the option number b it is a positive number an array with only a one row or a one column is called the one dimensional array so here is the finite collection of an n number of an elements of a same type that is elements are stored in the contiguous memory locations so here the arrays which is always a positive number from the zero to any number of the elements that is n number of elements so that array size should be always a positive number next question is that in stack the end is commonly referred to as dash options are top bottom rear and also the front the correct answer will become top because a stack is a audit collection of items where addition of a new items and the removal of an existing item which is always takes place at the same end that end is commonly referred to as a top top of the stack so that the correct answer will become top next question tree is an example for what options are linear data structure non linear data structure primitive data structure and none of these the correct answer will become option number b non linear data structure because a non linear data structure is a data structure in which data item is connected to in a several other data items through a link so this is a hierarchical relationship between the both the connected nodes that is called non linear data structure it is an example for the non linear data structure so that the correct answer will become non linear data structure the question number 11 topmost node in a tree is what the options are child node options b terminal node option c sub tree option d is a root node the correct answer will become root node because the topmost node in a tree that is called a root node next question is that which operation access each data element exactly once so dash this operations we can call it as what the options are traversal insertion searching and sorting so correct answer will become traversal because the traversal is a process of accessing each data item exactly once to perform some operation this is called a traversal so that the correct answer will become option e traversal next question dash is a set of vertices and edges already we know the concept of an a graph so that the options which are a tree graph q and stack the correct answer will become graph because the graph it is a set of vertices and edges which is always connected them the graph it is a collection of nodes that is called a vertices and the connections between them that is called edges the next question is that dash is arrangement of elements of the array in some order options are sorting searching traversal and none of these so here is the correct answer will become sorting because the sorting it is an arrangement of an elements of the array in some order either it is in ascending order or it is in the descending order so that sorting it's a process of arrangement of the elements in the particular order so that the correct answer will become sorting so this is the end of the session thank you so much If you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos thank you so much